Hey everyone, it's Adrienne and welcome to this video and welcome back to my channel if you are already subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, welcome, hello, my name is Adrienne and you should subscribe by pushing the button down below and you will officially join the hashtag Finch fam. Before we begin, can we try to get this video to 5,000 thumbs up? I've only asked for that like once in my life, so I think it'd be kind of cool. 5,000 thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do it. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys 10 beauty hacks that I have been loving and using lately, and hopefully you use them too. This is my third and final video in my partnership with CoverGirl, so thank you CoverGirl for sponsoring this video. I have had so much fun working with them, and I'm really excited to show you guys this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Beauty hack number one. If you use a beauty blender, then you know that they can get a little bit gross because there's always foundation on them, and whenever I put it in my makeup bag, it rubs off onto all my other products, and I hate it. So life hack that I think is so fun and cool is to put it in one of those little plastic Easter eggs. This way you can travel with it, stick it in your makeup bag, stick it in your drawer, and it's not getting germs on it and it's not getting anything else gross. Life hack number two. If you are anything like me and have a million makeup brushes but are not quite positive how to use each one and when you travel you don't really want to bring all of them, then this hack is going to be great for you. So this life hack is to take a circular or fluffier blush brush and take a bobby pin and put it over the blush brush so that it kind of condenses into a thinner shape and then you can use it as a contour brush. Then when you're done, take out the bobby pin and you can blend it out with the normal brush. That was kind of hard to explain, but I think you get what I'm saying. <laughs> I've used this and it actually works really well. Beauty hack number three is to get really thick and full eyelashes. Lots of people try makeup tricks and hacks like applying powder to your lashes before mascara or you just wear false eyelashes all the time in order to get your eyelashes to be longer and fuller. However, the key really is to just find the right mascara. CoverGirl has four mascaras that I religiously use that actually give the effect of having false lashes on without having false lashes on. The first one and my personal fave is the Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. I've used this one on many makeup routines on my YouTube channel. I love it. This mascara has a fiber length formula that actually gives the effect of having 400 times the volume and length as your normal lashes. The next one is the Plumpify Mascara. I love the wand on this one and it gives 50 times more volume for full, thick, ragingly beautiful lashes. The other two are the Full Lash Bloom Mascara and the Lash Blast Volume. I love all these and they'll be linked down in the description box if you have more questions about them. Beauty hack number four is to actually use a men's razor to shave instead of a woman's razor. Typically, men's razors have more blades and they aren't built for sensitive skin like ours, so they will actually get closer to the skin and you will have like the closest shave you've ever had in your whole life. And I know it's weird, but trust me, I've been religiously using men's razors for like years and it works so well. And I'm like a hairy person, TMI, okay, anyway. Beauty hack number five. Now, you may have heard of this one and I had heard of it too. However, I had never actually tried it and I'm telling you, it is like the best hack I've ever used and it's so easy. So this is if you want good smelling hair, maybe you just straightened or curled it and it doesn't smell amazing, it smells kind of like burnt hair, spray perfume onto your hairbrush and run it through your hair all over and I promise you it's like spraying perfume onto your actual head but without the sticky residue and you will smell fresh. Beauty hack number six. This one is to make matte lipsticks feel a lot smoother and better on your lips. I am a huge fan of matte lipsticks, whether it's liquid or stick, but my biggest problem is they're always too dry and they are actually physically uncomfortable on my lips and I don't wanna wear them even close to all day. To fix this, simply apply a lip gloss or a chapstick on before you apply your matte lipstick. It still dries the same way and it's still matte, but there's a layer underneath that makes it a lot smoother. If you don't wanna do that because that's a huge hassle, then I really highly suggest using the Katie Cat Matte lipsticks from CoverGirl. They are semi-matte, so they are like not fully, fully matte, so they're smooth and they feel really good, but they're still matte lipsticks. That way you don't have to like carry around chapstick and your liquid matte lipstick. You can just wear one and it'll still feel good. Beauty hack number seven. If you have really straight hair and you want to get some waves, but you are running out the door in a huge rush, then put your hair in braids like this and run a straightener over it. And believe it or not, if you hold the straightener in place for at least like five to seven seconds, it will actually give your hair a little kink and a little wave when you take the braids out. Try it. Beauty hack number eight. If you're someone who gets really static hair, a good solution to that is to put a dryer sheet on your hairbrush and to brush your hair after. I'm telling you, it eliminates all the static that is on your head and you won't look like an idiot. Beauty hack number nine. This hack is for people who are terrible at eyeshadow like myself. I kid you not, I just cannot figure out eyeshadow. Like I can figure out every other thing but eyeshadow. So my life hack for this is to use an eyeshadow palette that already comes in the shape of an eye showing you where to put each color. My favorite one right now is the CoverGirl Smoky Eye Palette. It 
has numbers corresponding to each color that actually tells you where it's supposed to go, your crease or your lid. And it honestly just helps so much. Like that guidance is just so easy because it's right on the packaging instead of having to look up tutorials and all this stuff. So I love carrying around those little palettes. They're small and thin and you can just take them around anywhere rather than carrying your big thick palette. So love it. It's honestly a really great life hack. And last but not least, beauty hack number 10 is to wash your face with sparkling water instead of still water. This sounds super high maintenance and unnecessary, but there's something about the carbonation that actually digs deeper under your pores to clean dirt out than still water. So give it a try. I have been doing it and honestly, not only does it feel really good because it's like bubbly and tingly on your skin, but I actually have noticed having a lot clearer skin. So you should give it a try. All right, you guys, that is it for my 10 beauty hacks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you did by giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below what your favorite hack was or if you've tried any of them out. I will put all of these hacks in the description box so you guys can try them out yourself. And remember, let's try to get this video to 5,000 likes. That would be awesome. I think we can do it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye!